Okay, so I'm back here at the tractor graveyard. I figured I would give you guys another tour because this is one of the most requested videos and everybody seems to like them. So as always, we'll start off in the Sears row. Um, the stuff I'm getting actually has a bank tag on it. So uh, those of you that actually are subscribed to me and stuff, you can tell which tractors I'm getting because it has a pink tag on it. But anyway, they got all kinds of stuff still here. So, lots of Sears stuff. This is more of, uh, I guess, the Gilson. And then uh, there's some economies there. And the case row. And then there's some other, like, miscellaneous kind of stuff that's up there, as well as, like, the stuff they just got in. It's another one I'm getting. It's one of the customs I'm going to get. This is one that I'm actually going to turn into a red roper with the square fenders. Miscellaneous uh, pile of parts that I kind of found walking around. And then I'll just show you, just for the fun of it, a couple, couple more tractors I'm getting. I'm getting actually eight total, I believe. This Hydro is actually one I've been wanting since they've gotten it. It's definitely not in the nicest shape, but I can definitely fix it. Then there's another one that I'm getting with the that orange one. So there's some John Deere here. There's more around back. I'm going to show you a little bit later. This is one I'm getting too. I actually took the hood off of it because I wasn't going to get this one and then I decided to actually get it. So um, I already took the hood off. So this is over here like the MTD kind of stuff I don't like. Modern stuff throughout this whole back area. Over here is the Craftsman Roll. I guess it's still the Sears Roll but the Craftsman Roll kind of turns kind of goes this way so um, anybody watching this um, I don't know what he wants for anything or what he has so the link for their Facebook page is in the video description and the phone number and everything is on that page you should be able to view that page even if you don't have Facebook because um, I don't know what their prices are it varies depending on what actually it is so there's all kinds of craftsman stuff here I'm not going to walk all the way down there. Zero turns. More like probably 90s to 2000s MTD built tractors. There's so many of those here. More of like the, I guess, commercial zero turns. On this row. Maybe what I'll do here is I'll get up high and just kind of point the camera around so then you guys can kind of pause this video and look at stuff. All kinds of snow blowers here for everything. That's a lot of snow blowers. Some four wheelers and golf carts. You wouldn't really expect to uh, find this type of stuff at a lawnmower place, but here it is. Some wheel horse over there too, and I'll get to that in just a minute. I know a lot of people like wheel horse, so I'm gonna kind of go through here and so everybody can see these. So now I'm just going to kind of walk through things. 
So I guess we're on to this more wheel horse here. Some bowlins now. Pile of uh, snapper mowers there it looks like. Those little uh, rear engine ones. I didn't even realize until now that this MTD row actually came all the way back. And it actually turns over there. I thought it stopped and went with something else, but I guess it continues. Cub Cadet. Um, there's some older ones on the other side I'm going to get to in a minute. But these are like the newer ones it looks like. Some John Deere. A lot of people like John Deere too, so I will kind of go through here a little bit. I'll zoom if anybody wants to see something there. But... Now on to some more uh, simplicity. So this is like, these are like the older MTDs. Kind of reminds you of like a Sears uh, front grill on that one. Guess that one there's kind of the same deal. Mower decks for simplicities. There is definitely plenty of those. Well, I've seen more simplicities than I think anything else. I guess they sold a lot of those. MTD decks for modern stuff. More MTDs. Miscellaneous engines here. So the engine area Every single engine you can imagine pretty much right here. Hi YouTube, welcome to Almost Heaven. Some more engines and it looks like a few transmissions in here. Some simplicity decks. I'll go back here. I'm actually gonna pull some rear ends out of a few simplicities because the uh, hydro rear end will actually work in a Sears. Um, so I'm gonna get to those, maybe I'll show you those for those of you that are subscribed to the channel. I know a lot of you that watch this style of video that I do aren't subscribed, so you probably won't know what I'm talking about, but they are this one here and that one because they are, it's a vertical shaft engine, but there is a belt twist that goes to a horizontal shaft transmission that just happens to have one inch axles. So with a little bit of a modification, I can actually fit that in a Sears. Some more John Deere here. And I just stepped in water. <laughs> Some older Cub Cadet that I think I was mentioning about a little earlier. I know what this is. Looks like maybe part of an electric motor. I don't know. I don't know what that is. If anybody knows what that is, I'm curious. Maybe it has something to do with this thing that it's on. I still don't know. Well, that's definitely part of a motor. I don't know. Either way, it's kind of cool. So 
some more simplicity. Some Massies. I thought I saw those somewhere else also. Now I'm gonna head towards the front a little bit so then you guys can see the front area. Here's the other part of the wheel horse area that you didn't see uh, a little bit ago. And something new that they just added is this racking for tires. There's still a lot of tires to be found here even though I took actually quite a few out of here because a lot of tractors I already have and I'm buying is missing tires so but yeah there's all kinds of mainly people buy these for the rims because people need rims tires some are good some aren't kind of a thing but yeah miscellaneous tires figure out oh that's one more thing I was going to show you the attachment area so here's their area of attachments there's all kinds of attachments here. So yeah, there's the attachments as of time of upload. Okay, so just like that, I'm kind of back where I started. So there's like some tillers over here. So this is kind of the tiller area. All like the walk behind kind of stuff is along here. We got some pressure washers and generators here. Some more push mowers. Here's a row I know I never went down with with a video. All of the GE electrics are here. I know somebody asked me about those. So there's four for sure of those. They look like they mostly are there. Some other really small stuff. I saw this in their pictures, it's a homemade forklift that uh, I've been wanting to check out. So here's a good chance to check it out, I guess. So it looks like, I don't even know here, somebody, go on the other side. Somebody had some weird engine out of something. Of course it's out of something, ain't it? <laughs> um, yeah, it's got this weird engine that looks Four cylinder, yeah, it's a four cylinder uh, gas engine because it has a carburetor. Four cylinder gas engine with a hydraulic pump here. That is, I have no idea here. This is weird. It's got to be homemade though. Forklift mass. Somebody spent a lot of time on this. This is so cool. Wow. I somebody had to have homemade this. I don't know, but that's so cool though. It says Crossley on the engine. I don't know. I, I don't get into this um, larger engine category, so I don't know. But yeah, that's kind of neat. I'm not sure how exactly how exactly it transfers power from the engine to the actual ground. So it looks like there's like a some kind of a very small transmission there. And then, I don't know, it's weird. It's kind of cool though. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.